Uh, Don says, hi Mehran, hello Don. He says, there is a girl that I like, but she's already with someone. Okay. And I watched all your videos and I know that it doesn't matter if she likes me or not. That my self-worth is based on me and... And uh, I lost you. You're not self is based on me, and that's all. But then, but when I see her or when she talks to me, all my convictions go away, <laughs> like if, like it disappears for that moment, and I fall for her again. I can't stop interacting with her since she's my friend, and we are in the same class and school. What do you think I should do? Well, this is where your logic and common sense comes to the picture. You can fall for her if you like. That's very pleasant. But you should know what is right, what is wrong, and what does she prefer. It is not about just what you feel, so therefore, this is how I feel, should I act on it or not act on it? That's one question. The other one is, how about her? How does she feel? And if she doesn't feel the same, then you shouldn't act on it. It's not about how you feel and if you should or should not act on it because of the way you feel. It's about also how the other person feels and then you decide if based on both facts, factualities, actualities, how you feel and how she feels, then you can decide if she should proceed, you know, act on that feeling or not. Otherwise, common sense tells you it's futile. You're going to put yourself into more of a um, <clears throat> disappointing feelings. And why should you Why should you make any kind of a romantic uh, overtures to someone who you know she's not available? If she's in a committed relationship or she hasn't given you enough clear signals of her interest for you to feel the waters a little bit more. So as a gentleman and a friend, it's always best to consider the feelings and the positions and point of view of the other person as well before you think that, okay, I like her, so I should say something. No. As a man, you may like many things. You may like many women. I mean, we are, we're programmed for procreation. We're programmed to love women. And we're programmed to be interested in what we think is a beautiful um, personality or beautiful physical presence of a woman and but that doesn't mean you should actually act on it you know you can just see the flowers enjoy and feel the blessing of them being present in the place that you're walking or talking or living but you don't have to go and smell them you don't have to go and pick the flower you just Enjoy the blessing that you have that you're among them, you're around them, and they're there, you know, to, you feel enlightened, you feel energetic, you feel motivated, but you don't have to be in contact with them, you don't have to touch them, you don't have to know them, you don't have to be with them, you can just enjoy the fact that the energy has have created such beautiful, hopeful feelings in you. And that should be the extent of your expectations from a lady who's not available. That's it. And then go on and, and be certain that this is not final. I mean, it'll change, meaning your feelings about her will change. Uh, you will go and find somebody who is available and, is, and you can you know, discuss on different levels and then find out if you guys are compatible or not. And then find out that she's far more compatible with you than this one that you have infatuation about. So just because you feel 
excitement about a woman, that doesn't mean she's the right one for you. you know, most men, we feel excited about any beautiful woman, any woman that we feel is beautiful to our taste. But that doesn't mean that she's the right woman for us. You know, it's just a physical um, reaction. I hope that answers your question a bit. In other words, just be friend. That's it. 